Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another day of showing you how I'm going to track my food for the day so that I can make sure to hit my caloric and my macronutrient goals, my cool car carbs, proteins, fats. Uh, I do these myself anyways every day and I thought at some point, why not record them, throw them up here on my channel, maybe help somebody else figure out how to do theirs as well. So do me a favor, if you find this video to be helpful, please hit like on it and maybe even the subscribe button while you're here. Wouldn't that just be nice? Um, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and start my app so I can show you what I'm working with. The app I am using is called My Macros Plus. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to the iOS and the Android app store. It costs like $2, but well worth it if it helps you stay consistent and hit your overall goals. Also, do me a favor. Please check out CheapoFitness.com. That's a website that I just launched where I am spending my time digging through Amazon, looking for deals, discounts, coupon codes, sales, basically anything that will help you save a few bucks while you're trying to stay fit. Fitness only stuff. That's all that I've got on the website cheapofitness.com, link in the description down below. So I've already done most of the day today. Um, and so you can see here at the top, I've only got 434 total calories remaining. And honestly, if I can hit 200 of those, I'll be happy. But here's what I wanted to do here. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. We're going to build the rest of it, but I want to talk about how we're going to approach a day like today. So a day like today is a little bit unusual because I started eating earlier in the day than I normally would have. I got up earlier than I was hungry earlier. So I started eating, I think, around like 9.30, which is early for me. The problem that I've got there is is I'm only doing about 2,700 max calories per day. So if you start eating earlier, that means you've got a lot, uh, a lot of time there. Your window of opportunity of time is larger there that you have to sort of n navigate and negotiate being hungry. Some of my past videos, one of the things I talk about is the way that you start your plans when it comes to counting your numbers will determine how your plan ends, how you uh, do the food at the end of the day with your plans. And the time frame is same. Like it works the same way with what time you start eating. The time of day that you start eating when you are trying to follow a meal plan is going to determine how the end of your day goes. So a day like today, where I started eating earlier, well, that means I'm probably going to be eating more throughout the day, which means by the time that I get to, you know, close to bedtime, I'm probably going to have no more food to eat or very little food to eat. Whereas normally I'm eating around 12 for the first time during the day in the afternoon, noon. And so what that means is I'll have, because it's a shorter window, I'll probably, there's a better chance I'll have food that I'll be eating later in the day. So not only does the... Does this matter when you're building your actual plan and putting your food in here? But the time of day also is impacted. The way that you start it is going to impact the way that it ends. So just wanted to kind of mention that because that happened to me today. So just let's real quick, I'm going to turn this so I can make sure to get everything in. So uh, I have a three-step process every time that I build my food plans, whether it's daily or whether it's for a few days at a time. First step of my three-step process is I want to find something that I can add in that's the same every single day or just about the same. These are called my staples. These are things I don't have to think about. I just put them in and it's like clockwork. For me, those are my pre and my post workout plans. I put those in here even if I'm not going to work out. One, because I need the protein and you'll see here it's got a protein drink in it. But two, it just helps me get started on the plan, on the build. It gets my first foot forward type of deal. And so for me, it's an apple protein uh, whey drink right now, which is made by IsoPure. Uh, it's one of my favorites that I've had in a long, long time. It's it, Apple turns out it's really good, and it dissolves beautifully. I'm going to put a link in the description down below as well if you want to pick that up from Amazon. And um, so I got an apple protein drink on my pre and my post workout, and then I've got gummy bears on my pre and my post workout. That's just one serving of the Haribo gummy bears. Um, no fat in those, which is really nice, and it gives me a little bit of a pre-workout and post-workout carb boost. So those are my staples. I put those in, and they're pretty much the same every single time. Step two on my plans is I ask myself, is there something that I really want to make sure to squeeze in here as far as a craving or a quote-unquote treat? Whether you're building it by day or building it for multiple days, you still want to be able to try to squeeze in things that you feel like you're treating yourself. If you don't do that, my experience has been it's been harder to stay on a plan if you feel like you're depriving yourself or if you feel like like you're not living or whatever you want to call it. So I try to fit in my cravings at this point before I've done any of the, of the rest of the actual food food. So step two, put in your cravings at this point. And once you've done that, whether you do or don't have cravings, step two is done. We're going to go to step three, which is now building your food plan, starting with the first plan of the day you're going to eat and working your way backwards. That's where we're at now. 
we're going to see what we've got so far. So for breakfast, what I did was very basic, some liquid egg whites. That was just one cup of liquid egg whites and a, uh, a regular egg. I threw a regular egg in there for two reasons. One, it gives me just a little bit of fat kind of in the morning. Uh, just a little bit though. And two, it changes the consistency. Liquid egg whites, if you don't cook them right, they're like a hard booger, right? They're, they're just, they're not delicious. I mean, you can put seasoning on them and try to help that out. But for some reason, having that egg in there and the yolk mixed with that gives it a little bit of a, a different consistency. And frankly, it just makes it taste a little bit more uh, eggy uh, for some reason. So that's why I put that extra egg in there. I don't do more than one egg because the fat will start to build up pretty fast from there. So I just want to do one egg there. For lunch, basic, I did a meal which was some broccoli, some fat-free baked beans. Those are by Bush's Baked Bean Company. Those are the vegetarian ones. Not that I'm particular about vegetarian, but I like the fat-free part. So uh, eight ounces of turkey meatballs. Those are turkey meatballs that I make in one ounce balls. So if I put eight of them in there, well, that's eight ounces. And then I've got a hard-boiled egg. I actually threw another egg on there for lunch. And then for dinner, I've got some of those sweet peppers. These are those little bitty uh, bell peppers, but they're small. Um, just eating those kind of raw. And then I've got a wrap. It's a turkey wrap on this one. It's got some guacamole. And I've actually added in a little bit of rice and broccoli again for the dinner. So pretty big size dinner there, 757 calories. But um, I've had a couple of, of snacks today, a couple of frozen fruit bars, and then some protein chips by Quest. Pretty full day already, which is why at the top, if you'll notice, we've only got 434 total calories remaining. So how are we going to approach finishing this build out? Well, we want to look at a couple things. One is, of course, how many calories we have left because that's a big deal, but also the macronutrient breakdown at the top because that's going to determine how I'm going to finish this. And I, the first thing that I notice is my fat's down to under six total grams, whereas I still got 33 grams. Oh, you know what? There's something that I didn't add in here. I just realized it, and this is going to change some things. Earlier, I had a protein bar. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add that in now. And that's definitely going to change my overall, and that might actually be the end of my plan. Let's take a look. So that's actually pretty interesting. I went over on fat just a little bit, 234 calories remaining, which for me, most days, as long as it's under 300, I'm okay with that. And that's just based on my own numbers that I've calculated. Uh, 12 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs. Now, let's say if I wanted to get fancy and I wanted to knock that down a little bit uh, further, Remember earlier I said that because I started eating earlier, there's a chance that I wasn't going to have any food later in the night. Well, there's actually an opportunity here that if I was getting close to bed and I wanted something just a little bit of a snack, I could actually add one of those frozen fruit bars. My cat is climbing on the table, and I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Hey, what are you doing? Um, I could add a little bit of carbs here. A frozen fruit bar is 15 grams of carbs, and there's nothing else in it. No fat, no protein. So... If I wanted to add one more in, I've already had two today, but let's just go ahead and add a third one because I have a feeling before I go to bed, I'm going to want just a little bit of something and I'm still well within my numbers. Heck, I could do another one if I wanted to. I don't, but it, there's an opportunity there to do so. But even if I want to go further on something else, not a fruit bar, but maybe something a little bit more protein heavy since I got 12 grams of protein left, I don't know what that cat's doing, but it's making me nervous. Let's do... Um, Oh, you know what? I forgot another thing too. Uh, a cup of bone broth. I had that this morning for breakfast with my eggs. And that puts us down to pretty much, I'm not going to do anything else. I forgot to add those couple of things in here and it made a difference. So um, this ended up being a really good sort of plan. Even though I started eating early, I'm glad that I still have an opportunity to eat something here at the end of the day, which is that additional frozen fruit bars, nice cold snack. And, um, but you know, today was just kind of odd because I did start eating early. And again, how you start your days, how you start your plans is going to determine how you end your days and end your plans. So keep that in mind whenever you're learning how to do this and going through those processes. The app I am using again is called My Macros Plus, available on all the app stores. Link in the description down below. If this was helpful, please hit help or please hit help. Please hit like, maybe even the subscribe and check out cheapofitness.com. Amazon fitness specific deals, discounts, coupon codes, sales, anything to help you save a few bucks while trying to stay fit. Link in the description is going to be down below. Thanks y'all so much for watching and we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Peace out.